positive way. That is not a negative. And head coach Paul Riley excited about that team. They can get out on the attack in the transition, and they do not have a problem scoring. They just go, 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 and keep coming at you. And this Portland Thorns team looking to keep go, go, going at home. This is the third straight home match for the Thorns. They've won their last two by a combined score of eight to one. The crowd ready to go. We're ready to go. Anthem coming up for you in Portland. Please welcome the Girl Scouts of Oregon and Southwest Washington to present tonight's colors. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as we welcome Haley Kilgore, who will honor us with her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed. according to head coach Paul Riley. Lynn Williams, Jessica McDonald up top, 17 goals between them. And for Mark Parsons and the Portland Thorns, they'll line up the same way they did for their 3-0 win over Houston on Wednesday. Well, we already talked about Long and, of course, Heath and Sinclair, but unsung heroes for them as well. But this time on the back line with Reynolds, Menges, and Sonnet, possibly the rookie of the year. Should be a fantastic matchup. And the Thorns coming off what Coach Parsons says was their best game of the year. They've won two in a row at home. They're trying to clinch a home playoff berth for the first time ever. Meanwhile, the Flash just trying to get into the postseason. That's next. 